Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. The news from Wisconsin Parkside is that junior Nick Becker has been selected the 2017 NCAA Division II Wrestler of the Year. He joins us now from Kenosha. Nick, how are you? Pretty good, Scott. Thanks for having me on. Congratulations on this award. You are the 10th recipient of the award since its inception in 2008 and the first Ranger to receive the honor. How special is that for you? Yeah, it, it's very special to me, especially to be on a, or receive the, uh, the award with the caliber of guys that have received it in the past. I know Traval Delagnev is obviously everyone knows him. He's he's a legend in the sport of wrestling, and to be on a list with a guy like that, it, it, it's pretty special. I would imagine, for me, it'd be humbling. I, I'm a huge Travel Delegna fan, but uh, I'm becoming a, a huge fan of yours. You capped off your second consecutive undefeated season by winning out the 174-pound national championship for the second straight year. Talk to us about the year you had. Yeah, um, overall, um, I would say it was, a, it was obviously a good year. Uh, I won the national title, and... I won undefeated, but um, kind of my goal before the season was actually to score bonus points in every single one of my matches, and I like to set my set my goals high, and I I didn't achieve that, but um, I, I can't complain. It was a great season. I, I have great people around me, friends, family, my coaches, my teammates that, that helped, me, helped me out this year, and I, I can't thank them enough. So back-to-back undefeated years, right? Yep, yep. What's what? Tell me what that's like. <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's probably a, it's a lot of up up and downs. To be honest, um, there there's days where you you're still in the practice room and you have bad days, or your, your teammates are beating you up and you get down on yourself. But you know, you just gotta come back into the room the next day and keep at it and keep working. And um, my teammates are very supportive of me and um, my coaches. My brother is actually an assistant coach, and he's been a great part in uh, helping me get to where I am today. You know, what's, what's interesting is that when made aware of the award and you're re- receiving the award, that uh, the first guys you thanked were your teammates and your coaches, thanking them and, and recognizing that you couldn't have done it without them. And I think that is so generous, but it's so true, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, they're the, my teammates and my coaches, they're, they're the, you know, ones pushing me and pushing me in the room and really not, not let, letting up on me. They, they want to get the best of me in the room and that, that, that's just awesome. We're talking with Nick Becker, Wisconsin Parkside Jr. He's in the Nike hot seat today. This is not the first award that you've gotten this year. And, and I, I, Pray it won't be the last, but uh, Great Lakes Valley Conference Wrestler of the Year, Super Region 2 Wrestler of the Year. You had eight fall victories, three tech fall wins, and five major decision victories. You talk about scoring bonus points. Well, you're proving it out. Bonus points are where it's at for you. Yeah, um, I, I like to you know put points on the board, make it fun for, for myself and everyone watching and um I just, I, I guess I le- kind of like have the style where I want to put as many points as possible I can on the board, you know, and try to dominate people. People say, and they describe you and your style as uh, you're like a hammer and uh, you get in there and anybody you wrestle, they know they've wrestled Nick Becker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I might not completely 100% agree with that, but I have heard people say that in the past, but I I, I like to think that, you know, I'm, I can be a hammer, but I'm also, you know, very technical and um, I really focus my training really on my technique and, you know, my scrambling ability. Talk to us about your coach, Greg Lewis. Uh, I know he's in a, uh, uh, it's a rather unique position because we did lose, uh, we lost coach uh, Cook as well. Um not that long ago, and, and it's still fresh for so many. But uh, the, while the program was mourning his loss, they're celebrating your victories and uh, that of your team. Uh, can you talk about uh, Coach Greg Lewis? Yeah, Coach, Coach Lewis, he, he's been with this program uh, 
I think he was assistant for 16 years, and now I think he's going on his fifth or sixth year of being a head coach. And he, he's a great guy, great guy to have in the room. Um, he's very, very personable, and he can uh, connect with his athletes um, and all of us. And we all have the greatest respect for him and what what he's done for this program. Also, you were the Super Region Two winner last year as well. You've got the school record for 66 straight matches for the Rangers. Are you aware of that? Yeah, actually, I think this year at uh, Bellarmine, I broke that in a duel. That's amazing. Uh, how old were you when you started? Uh, well, I had three older brothers that wrestled, so um, I think it was probably around when I was four or five, but really probably they were beating me up when I started walking. <laughs> Yeah, brothers have a tendency to do that, but makes you a little tougher oh, yeah. along the way. So your dad started you, I would imagine? Yep, my dad, uh, he, I think he started wrestling his freshman year in high school, and then uh, he just wrestled through high school. He took fourth in state his senior year, and then he just got in the working world after that. Now, as a junior, help me understand how you're walking next week uh, to to graduate and then being able to come back next year to defend your national title yeah so obviously my first two years i uh, i spent at central michigan and those were two great years with a lot of great people around me that also helped me but um due, due to grades and me not staying on the right track in life i uh i had to leave so that following year i lost a year of eligibility and then um in order to get that year back um this past year, I had to go part-time in the fall and then full-time in the spring. And then next year, I'm going to do the same thing in order to get that year of eligibility back. The only difference is ne next year, I'm just uh, going to grad school because I'm, I'm finished up with my criminal justice degree. So there's not anything else I can uh, do unless I wanted to get a double major. But I'd rather uh, take the grad school route. What kind of GPA are you pulling down? Uh, right now, I think I have a 2.9 GPA. Well, that's better than I ever did. I tell you, what, you mentioned some of the other award winners, and you mentioned Travel. Uh, yep. Many of these guys I've interviewed over the years: Todd Manili, oh yeah, uh, Donovan McMahill, uh, Trevor Franklin, uh, Terrell Fortune, of course. Uh, but Notre Dame's 184 pound sensation Joey Davis, guy was uh, amazing when uh, yeah. when he was at at uh, Notre Dame of Ohio, but now, uh, now fighting in the, uh, professional ranks, any chance there might be, uh, a, a fight career waiting for you? Uh, as of right now, probably not, but, uh, I'm obviously leaving all options open. Um, I kind of, I, I obviously want to stick in, stick in wrestling either if that's, uh, wrestling a few more years after college or coaching, but, um, I think wrestling is definitely in my future. Well, thank goodness for that. Now, I wanted to say something to you that your coach has made very, very uh, apparent. He said of you, he said he just wrestles at a different level. His intensity is impressive, but he's very composed, calm, and collected. He's unflop, unflappable on the mat and just keeps coming at his opponent. Um, did, does that embarrass you? Does it accurately describe you? How do you feel about what Coach Lewis said? Yeah, I know. I think it's it's pretty accurate. I mean, I'm most of the matches I'm going to come out there and, you know, probably club you in the head and try to get a takedown quick <laughs> um and and score early and and often, but um yeah, I think I think that's just the the kind of style that um I don't know, I guess that's developed for me over the past few years and I think that's that's what's working for me and I'm I'm going to just stick with that. Well, I think you've got a pretty decent game plan going on. It sounds like your your workout uh, ethic and uh, practice eth ethic is right on track as well. Who would you like to thank for uh, you know helping get you to where you are today? Oh, there there's so many people um, to to thank. Um, obviously, all of my coaches through high school, my um, head wrestling coach Steve Best, my um, Club coaches in high school, Ben Askren, John Messerbrink, Jim Schmitz, um, Anthony Diali, and then obviously my coaches at Central Michigan, um, Coach Borelli, he, he's 
he, he's a great guy and um, I respect him tremendously. Um, ben Bennett, um, obviously my brothers, my parents, they're probably the biggest support system I have. They, they don't miss barely any of my competitions and it's great to always have them, them with me. Um, and I also have a sister. She's, she's great. She's always, always at the tournaments whenever she can make it. So you mentioned coach, uh, the coaches at central Michigan, uh, coach Borelli, a great friend of the show over these many yeah. years. But, uh, then you mentioned Ben Bennett, ton of respect for Ben Bennett. That guy has incredible work ethic. Oh, yeah. And, uh, he, and uh, how did he help you? Uh, he, I actually, actually, to be honest, he, I kind of tried, I guess, reflecting his style. He was kind of, you know, more of the physical wrestler. And, um, he also spent a lot of time in the, in the weight room and I kind of, uh, took after him with that. But, um, overall, he's just a great person in general. He really is. Absolutely. Uh, you finished the season uh, defeating Blaze Shade of UNC Pembroke, 8-4. That was the national title match. And, uh, man, you went out in style. I'm looking forward to seeing the senior year. Uh, Nick, it's going to be an interesting one indeed. They're going to be gunning for you. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wisconsin Parkside Jr., soon-to-be senior, Nick Becker, has been selected the 2017 NCAA Division II Wrestler of the Year by the Division II Wrestling Coaches Association. What an honor the 10th recipient of the award since its inception in 2008, and the very first Ranger, Parkside Ranger, to ever receive the honor. Nick, we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today, and congratulations. It's a very special day as we help celebrate what you've accomplished and what you will in the future. Thank you, Scott. Honored to, honored to be on your show. Well, well, you're always welcome, my friend. Give our best to Coach and everybody on your team as well, okay? Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Our guest of the Nike Hot Seat today, Wisconsin Parkside wrestler Nick Becker, one of the best. <laughs>